Hi everyone, welcome in my shop. My name is Jeroen. Welcome to the second part of how to build a robot. In part one, we have designed a weapon and today we're gonna make a drive frame. First of all, thanks for all the feedback I got from video one. Really appreciate it. If there's anything you have uh, questions about or tips, hints, stuff like that, please let me know in the comments and I will uh, respond or maybe improve. Um, also, Please be aware, I'm not a native English speaker. You probably picked it up already, but uh, I'm Dutch. Um, doing this series in English to get a um, wider audience, help more people than only the Dutch guys. Today, we're gonna talk about drive systems, build a drive system for the bash. But first, I want to introduce you to several types of uh, drive. In the past, like 90% of the robots use this motor. This is a Bosch motor. It's a very strong motor. It's uh, rated for 24 volts, 750 watts, but most of the guys drifted it at 36 volts. And it's really powerful. One problem, it's not available anymore. There are um, motors that look like them and can be used, but they need heavy modification. Uh, Gravity still works on this drive and I have several Bosch's but it's not what I'm going to use for the bash. For the bash I'm going to use this drive. This is a very simple uh, motor with a reduction built in and it's from a wheelchair, electric wheelchair. It's powered at, uh, it's about 300 watts, 24 volts. I'm gonna run it a little bit higher, around 30 volts, to get more speed out of it. And this part is the motor, and this part is the gearbox. I have used this in the past. They work quite well. Um, they can handle some extra power, but for now it's great. You can find these at your local uh, uh, Craigslist, Marketplace, online, eBay. They sell it, they cost about 25, 30 euros. Um, maybe more, maybe less. It's depending. Uh, one thing to be aware of, uh, there also are, uh, well, let me get one. You can also find these types of wheelchair drives. They are powerful, but they use a worm gear inside. And the worm's gears are not the best for robot combat. They can be used in weapons, like a Big Nipper. He used them a lot, T uh, Team Titanium, they used them a lot. But uh, worm gear has the disadvantage that if the wheel's attached here and you force the wheel, they damage. They go, the power goes only one way and not back in the motor. They break every time. So if they're angled, they're not the right motors. Also, very popular these days are these Chinese scooter motors. They come in several types and power factors. This one, this motor is uh, yep, 24 volts, 1000 watts, so it's really powerful. They are well constructed and as you can see, you can very easily build your own reduction for it. Here we use chains inside and it just, um, I think, uh, 1 to 4 ratio gearing down. If you want to go the professional way, professional made gearbox, it's a 1 to 15 reduction and well, it uses gears, as I said, and it's hard to build this type of uh, reductions without any form of milling or a lathe because uh, gears, they really need uh, the zero tolerance uh, fittings. And if you're a little off, you're gonna damage the gears and it's game over. So we are going to use this wheelchair motor. Some parts are easy. They already have mounting for the frame. Some parts are hard. The mounting to the wheels. Most of the times these motors use a key system. 
they have a key inside here and you would make a wheel with a shaft in it that would fit the key and lock it uh, with the top uh, there's a threaded hole in here it fits uh, probably an M8 bolt but to make something like this we will need a mill maybe a lathe stuff like that I don't have that so I was thinking it's not that high power I can choose a different solution so I have just a normal piece of uh, steel and it fits and it fits on top and almost fits tight on top of this I'm gonna use this piece of angled iron on top of that to center it this piece and to close it up a piece like this and we have our wheel mount So as you can see it fits nicely, uh, there is some backlash on it, uh, but we're gonna use some uh, bolts in here, use a nut, weld it on, have a bolt, fit it tightly, and then it will be okay. I also uh, made this uh, temporary wheel, it's just uh, wood with a bicycle inner tire uh, for a little bit of traction. So, just a quick wheel and uh, 
the reason I did this because I didn't have the final wheels but it's so cool to see something drive for the first time and you must not stop designing because you don't have the parts yet you can fix other stuff and if you don't have wheels yet you make wheels out of wood temporarily and at the end you just can throw them away but for now they work they fit they are the same size as the final wheels and also you can use them as placeholders if you're working on the wheels or stuff like that worst case it even could be a spare wheel don't see that happening but still it's there so you can use it I did a little work off camera sorry about that um, the claw I made it uh, silver aluminium tape nothing special just looks cool and also made uh, from scrap metal I made a frame for the two motors so up next we're gonna attach the wheels and then we can see if it works For the next part, we're gonna mount electronics on it and see if it will drive. Sidewinder speed controller is for controlling the two motors. We're gonna put here somewhere. Two LiPo batteries. For safety, I'm gonna use a LiPo bag and fit them in here. Receiver. Uh, back, it's, it's a battery elimination circuit so this takes power from the batteries and converts it into 5 volts to power up the transmitter and of course safety link in the back safety first let's do it It's all uh, secured in place. Before we're gonna test it, we got to make sure the wheels don't touch the workbench. Uh, otherwise, if something will go wrong, it will drive off or I don't know. So we have everything connected. Let's see if it works. Transmitter on. Link in. No smoke. Let's see. Forward. 
backwards. So, as you can see, it drives great speed, a little bit uh, jumpy, but I guess in the end, when it's heavier in the front, that will change. This is the end of part two. See you in part three, when we're gonna make uh, a steel frame and a steel weapon and get rid of all the wood. Thanks for watching.